Meetings being live streamed. All right. Good evening and welcome to this special edition of Showtime TV. I'm your host, Omar Rashida. Well, it's part three. We got this upcoming play coming up this Saturday, January 7, 2023, 7 p.m. at the Wilmington Music School. That's 4101 Washington Street, Wilmington, Delaware, 19802. And um, I have uh, some very special guests. As a matter of fact, they're all cast members of the play. Um, I'm gonna have everybody just uh, introduce themselves. We can start off with, uh, and we'll just, yeah, just, just introduce yourself and just give a little background about yourselves. So I'm we'll apostle. Go I'll go. I'll go ahead and start. I'm apostle TV Walker. I'm the pastor of Disciples of Faith Global Outreach. Uh, I'm also a uh, part. As uh, Omar said, I'm a, I'm a member, cast member of this play. I'm excited about what's going to happen. And uh, this is actually my 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 very first venture my very first place. So I'm honored to be here and excited about what is, what's going to go on. Okay, and what role do you play? I play the, I am going to be playing the, uh, na I'm the male, uh, the narrator, the male narrator. I'm also going to be playing uh, the part of Roger as well and a few other smaller parts. All right, there you go. Okay, Doshi Keys. Hi, good evening, good evening. Daddy's girl. Great. <laughs> for real, for real daddy's girl, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I play the part of a Dr. Terry uh, Silver Perkins, you know, kind of strong-willed individual and, and just really about, you know, the education of, um, of our youth. Um, <clears throat> I would say that I've kind of been dibbling and dabbing with the stage ever since maybe element, primary elementary school all the way through and, you know, a couple of places here. So this one, um, Mr. Omar said that he was doing a play and was I interested? I said, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of work, but, um, you know, and yes, the, the program is, I mean, the uh, play is on Saturday and I'm truly excited. All right, then we, then we have last but not least, we have the, the youngest cast member, the, the baby of the group. <laughs> we have Clave, um, it's Clave. how Hello. you doing? What's going on? I'm good. Okay, so what role do you play? The little boy. All right, <laughs> little, little boy. All right, okay. That that's 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 real good. That's that's real good. That's a nice outfit you got on as well, uh, Pastor. I'm gonna go back to you because um, this once again you stated prior that this is your acting debut. Um, yes, sir. Whenever one 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 is their acting debut, that that's probably the the, the most exciting uh, production they're probably gonna be in. Uh, well, let me say this: this is the most exciting that they're gonna be in in production. Um, because this is your first one and you're always going to remember your, your, your very first one as well as the last one. So uh, coming in as your uh, actor debut, uh, what, what thoughts crossed your mind? Uh, what, what's been going on? What have you been thinking? Man? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I've been, I've been pastoring, you know, for over 20 years, been preaching, you know, for even longer than that. So, you know, one of the things that I was kind of shocked by was even the nerves, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, th there was a certain amount of nerves there. You know, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, you know, it's been a wonderful journey. You know, it's been a great journey for me just in terms of emotion, in terms of trying to evoke and to, you know, gather some, g gather emotions that I just really hadn't had to deal with from, you know, where I was working in terms of pastoring and even dealing with the youth. So this has been for me, just a great opportunity to expose other areas of myself that, you know, where I, what I was doing, they, it wasn't ne necessary. So this has just been a great open door. Right. And uh, so preparation and remembering those lines, getting the lines down, <laughs> it's also been challenging. Oh, and man, and make, really, you really make interesting. It look easy. You, you made it look easy. I mean, you got off book faster than this body. <laughs> well, I, listen, I, I, I appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate that. I've really kind of thrown myself into it, really trying to see myself as a character. And that's been kind of the thing that's been very similar to preaching. I try to see, see the characters that I want to minister. I really wanted to do the same thing with this role. Okay, and another person that got their roles really fast is uh, Clave. Uh, Clave, uh, prior to this play, I can't remember, were, were you in another play before or just your very first one? I was in the Robin Hood play at the Wilmington Opera Place. Oh, okay, okay. What, 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 what character did you play in that? I play one of the skunks. Oh, okay. Tell, tell us a little <laughs> about that character. Tell, tell us a little bit about that character. So basically, that skunk is one of in the group um, that 
it basically they basically appear in one scene, but they're a group of skunks oh, okay. who are basically just outcasts because of the way they smell. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. So we're basically oh. just a characters. All right, so so yeah, they, they, they made it real. Okay, that that is awesome. That, that is awesome. No, no, Doshi. Uh, in real life, uh, your professional life, you're you're a teacher. Uh, you teach at a charter school, <laughs> and then Dr. Perkins is also a teacher. So, <laughs> when 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 you got the role of Dr. Per Perkins, you found that Dr. Perkins was a teacher, and then you're a real life teacher. Um, what thoughts were were going in your mind? I'm wondering because, because you're actually playing. I mean, obviously, you you're playing yourself in, in, in a sense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Um, Mr. Omar does it really does seem like that, but it was a couple of um administrators at the school that I watch their mannerism, I watch how they handle, okay. you know, um, when things come their way and, you know, as a uh, high administration, things get thrown at them, but at the end of the day, they still have to stand their ground with the facts behind it. So yes, I, I remember some of those teachers I had and the, and the heart that they had for us to be taught. Um, so I think I kind of grabbed up on that. I don't even know how I got in the teaching field, but before I know it, I was there. And now I realized I've been there now, like, um, I think going on like seven years. Oh, that, that is awesome. That, that wow. is awesome. You know, Apostle, um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you on a personal note, if you're being a, a, a pastor, a reverend, uh, whatever term is correct. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Know. All right. Okay. But, um, in terms of spirituality, how spirituality uh, do you see this play? How much spirituality do you see in this play? Well, if you it, know, I mean, well, to be honest with you, I mean, if there's, the whole play is really um, spiritual because, you know, one of the things about spirituality is about truth. You know, and it's, it's about, you know, real, you know, spirit is a reality. And, you know, when I look at this play, I can really see the trans transformation of people and you could actually see because of the play, the you know the the position that I play or the character that I play with Roger, there is a story of uh, change and redemption and transformation that comes through the you know for, through God and and only God. So you know there's so many things and so many levels here that you can see that many of the characters have survived simply because of their that that spiritual place that up 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 keep that 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 you can actually see as the underpinning of the show. Yeah. So I think that I think that's just powerful. Yeah, you know, Clave, I've never asked you this before, but like I said, as at the top of the program, I introduce you as the, the youngest cast member. Uh, how do you feel being the, the, the youngest cast member in, in the play? Uh, what, what's, what's going through your mind when you come to rehearsals and you're, 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 you're the baby of the group? How do you like it? Is it cool? Or what? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now, now, someone else who's the second youngest cast member happens to you know very well. She sees your uh, your sister. Uh, you're like one or two years apart. Uh, so, so when your sister when she she came late into the play, we we got her to come into the play, and she came a little late the first time we did it. So, uh, what was your feelings? Uh, how did you feel when your sister came part of the cast? Hey, how I felt first. Um, first because of like. All her shine, all her shine, um, shyness. I thought, she, I, um, I thought, um, she would like not do her part on the stage. I thought, I thought she would be upset doing, um, doing it. But then the more she got into it, the more she got the hang of it. Okay, I, that's good. So, so, so when when you're both at home, do do you practice together? Do do, do you help each other with with your lines? Um. No, not, um, no, no, not really. Sometimes oh, okay. we out to each other, but no, we don't really practice it together. <laughs> okay, 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 that's all right. So everybody do their own. own I mean, it's not like you guys have scenes together, but so I, I can understand. But um, everyone has their own uh, techniques in terms of knowing their lines and and, and, and projecting their their lines. Um, so 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 those um, in terms of the cast itself, you know, we have a very large cast of people. Um, very diverse cast in terms of age, in terms of backgrounds, in terms of talent. So I want to ask, you know, whoever wants to answer this, but I'm going to start off with Doshi. Um, what do you feel like uh, acting with uh, so many great people in, in this play, uh, the, the chemistry that, that we have, um, you know, the love and support that, that we have for one another? What, what's your take on that? 
Well, I <clears throat> I just feel like there is nothing in the world like being on one accord. We are unified. We are there to be make the best of um, our practices. Um, we not personalized in anything. We just wanted to be our best. I mean, the, and and I love the fact that when you're dealing with professionals, they don't get all upset about how oh, that ain't the way. You know, they just say, "Oh, okay." Somebody came to me the other day, and they was like, "You know what? What you say it really don't make sense." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, you're right." But that's what people do. You just wanted to be the best because you want that dialogue and you want that that timing to be right, and you want it to seem like we are not doing a play, but we're really having a conversation. And these are the topics that we're talking about. Right. right. Does anyone else have any comments about that question? Before we move on? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, for me, it's just, it's really, really inspiring. You know I mean? You know, I can actually see how the audience is going to be inspired and how the audience is really going to be, you know, empowered because, you know, just being a part of this cast and seeing how everybody, you know, has come into the room really, really prepared and really taking their, the heart of this play very seriously, you know, it has it, it inspired me. So I, I know that it's going to be inspiring to other people because I can actually tell that everybody has really, really put their, their claws into their roles. Okay. So Claudia, you shaking your head. You want to say anything about that? Or are you good? I'm good. All right. Okay, Claudia, you, you have a very talented family. I mean, you have a very talented, uh, background in terms of your family. You want to let the audience know um, what your parents do and what your siblings do and what also and what else did you, do you do besides acting? Um so, um so me I practice my I practice my keyboard play on my um play on my game do my chores okay play my <laughs> And what the other ones do is they play, um, they play, do, do stuff. And we have a band called HFAM. Yeah, my little brother, he just watches video, he watches videos and runs around like a fiber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And what, what about your other brother and your, your, your sister? My other brother, he plays the drums. Um, and my other brother, he plays the drums, and like he plays, he plays games too. He watches TV. He does his chores. Oh, okay. So everybody do their chores. It's a good thing. They make your parents <laughs> have some chores. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They teach teaching. Now, now it starts with your parent, your parents, your mom, and your daddy. What is it that they do? So. We um right now our mom and dad are working on a trip um a trip that they're doing the LA that they're working on a trip that they're doing the LA playing at the uh, Whiskey Go Go on the Whiskey Go Go. Oh okay, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're really excited about um about the trip. They're really excited. Oh, okay, Their that's rock rotation band is amazing. Oh, okay. I got. I bet it is because because your mom. Now, what what instrument does your mom play? She plays the guitar and harmonizes. Okay, and she also is a singer, right? Mm-hmm. And now, now, what 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 instrument does your daddy play? He plays the drums, the congas, the cajon. Wow. Sometimes he does the keyboard. He does a lot, actually. Talented family. Yeah, he's too. So he's multi-talented. That's right. All right. So, Plavi, I'm going to stay with you. Um, one of the things that impressed people the most about plays is um, people knowing their lines. Um, when I got my acting debut, it was a, a gentleman by the name of Mr. George Bungie. He was, uh, mm. I, I, I think he played the piano. He played the piano. He did. He did. And, and he was an actor. Um, so he did the annual tour of the Christian Culture Lesson, and he said that uh, people are impressed uh, when people can remember, remember their lines. So I want to ask all three of you. I'm going to start off with Clave. Um, how, how do you go about uh, knowing your line, remembering your lines? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to say knowing your lines. I'm not going to say remember, but, but knowing your lines. Do you go over it every single day, or do you? it takes a lot of practice? Um, how, how do you get so good to, to remember your lines? 
Um, at night, at night time before we, um, sometimes before we go to sleep, I grab my script and then I look at my lines and then I just say in my head, I keep the stuff I really need, like important, important things in my, in my head. Okay. Okay. So you're real smart. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you got skills. <laughs> you got skills. Okay, okay, Dosi. So how, how do you go about remembering your lines? Oh, oh well, I um <laughs> I, I definitely um I think I got I write mine out. I wrote out all of my pieces, I listen to it, then I write it out, then I do freehanded. Um, and I try to zero in on ones that I feel like I'm struggling with, and then <clears throat> I will listen because I've already recorded it. I will listen to it while I read it. And I may have something out of place, but I always want to know, did I leave? Do I have the gist of what it is that the writer was trying to say? So it's practice and more practice and listening to it for me, going over the script, I'm trying to remember the last line of the other person so that, you know, I'm cued in. I don't want to forget. <laughs> right, that's very significant. Yeah. Yes. That plays a big part. <laughs> that's probably the biggest part. Okay, now, now, Apostle, like I said, this is your acting debut. So, yes, sir. Uh, you did an excellent job in terms of remembering your line. So, so what, Thank what, what, you. What, what's the secret, man? What, what's the skill? <laughs> yeah, what's well, the you know, for me, it, it, it is repetition. You know, I'm, I'm I, you know, for being a pastor is part of what I've had, I've done. You know, in terms of understanding, uh, you know, what the text actually says. But for me, the, you know. The, the, the thing that's really most, I guess, most important for me is really getting the heart of the message. You know, once I really understand the heart of the message, the lines kind of follow the heart for me. That's kind of the way it was with ministry, understanding, you know, what, what was David trying to say in that song? And then once I got the heart of it, the words kind of match with the heart. So I've kind of used the techniques that I've, uh, you know, kind of honed in these last two decades, you know, and, and placed them here. Right. So it's repetition, repetition, repetition. You know, one of the things that people, when they get into acting, they have, um, and they have actors, they have other actors and actresses, whether they're famous, local, whatever, that they come to admire because they love the craft of, of acting, they love the craft of theater, they love the craft of television, and they love the, the, the craft of filmmaking. So I want to ask you three, uh, whoever wants to start first, they can. Who would you say are some of your favorite actors and actresses out there? Well, I can well, listen, definitely start. Go, go ahead. Ah, Thank you, go ahead. Apostle. Listen, um, I can just say that I kind of start back in the 60s. So, you know, I, I had the Barbara Stanswick and Betty Davises before, before, you know, I had Olivia Cole and um uh, Miss 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 Tyson and those those women. And men, because I always love Sidney Portier, that to take a part and make that, you know, that 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 woman he said, you know, guess who's coming to dinner? You know what I mean? Mm. That became like a famous line. You know, it wasn't just because it was guess who's coming to dinner, it was just the way that it was portrayed mm. out. So um, you know, those were just a few, you know, of the ones. And then of course the ones that is going on now with, you know, like Regina Hall and, you know, just, you know, just going on up there with um Mr. Vance and Mr. Uh, 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 Denzel Washington, you know, the quality that we are just getting down to just, uh, you know, not that it wasn't there, we just didn't have it in the uh, TV as I was growing up. So, you know, I guess that's why I started out with the Barbara Stanwicks and the, and the Betty Davises, et cetera, et cetera. So with those. All right. Okay, I think, okay, uh, Apostle. You know what, for me, I remember growing up, one of my favorite actors was uh, Ben Vereen. Uh, and, you know, I've always enjoyed, I like Ben Vereen. I liked, uh, I liked Denzel Washington, like Don Cheadle. And, you know, one of the things for me uh, is the voice and, and is the ability for them to, I've watched them, you know, do serious roles. I've watched them to do, do comedy, you know. And uh, so in looking at that, I really look at these actors for their diversity. You know, and, and, you know, where you're not just stuck on one character, but you're able to see them work in a wide variety of characters. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's really been those kind of characters for me. Okay. Bob, hey, do you have a famous actor or famous TV show or famous, uh, well, it doesn't, have, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be famous. It could be just anybody. Um, honest, honestly, 
I can only think of three right now, so I have to go with Eddie Murphy. It's really funny. Okay. <laughs> um, second, um, second will be Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, Actually, he's good. very. And third one, um, is the, you know that movie, um, called like Nope, like that recent movie that came out. Nope. Okay, I don't think I saw that one. Um, like, but the, the, the um, do you know a movie called Get Out or anything? I can't Get think. Out. Yes. So, you know the dude who's the main character? Oh, yeah, yeah, the African guy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the African I, I forgot guy. his name, yeah, I forgot his name, but I know, I know you're talking about. He, he played it, he played in, um, what's, what's the, the Panther, the Panther movie, too. The, the Black Panther. Yeah. Wakanda Fair. Wakanda, uh, Wakanda even, yeah. Yeah, even though... I don't really know anything about him. What I know is he can do a perfect cry. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You know, that, that, that takes a lot of talent. You know, yeah. that, 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 that takes a real lot of talent. And, and, uh, and uh, Mr. Omar, and then, then I can truly say that I have been in the presence, you know, maybe, <coughs> excuse me, of a, um, a excellent writer too, by the name of, um, you know, Brother Omar Rashida. So, oh, you, know, you know, you know, I've been to, <laughs> Quite oh, a few good. plays even was in, yes, was even in, <laughs> you know, one of them. So, you know, we know that we got those famous ones, but what about those ones that we can truly touch, um, i.e. Ebony Wilmore and, and the ones that, you know, have been doing, oh, you yeah. know, the local show. And so I appreciate that as well. Yeah, even though we're, we're, we're a local cast, I'll tell you what, we, we, we can put on a show and we can, we can go on Broadway. We can, can you know, we, we can do our thing, so. Oh yeah, you know, don't, don't I believe that. You. <laughs> oh yeah, I know we could. I know without a doubt. Okay, and um, Clave mentioned the word "cry," which is an emotion, which leads me to the question: When people come see this play, what type of emotions are they going to come? Ooh. How are they going to feel? Um, um, me, me. Yeah, everybody. Oh yeah, I'll start with you, man. Um. So honestly, um, honestly, a lot of adults who come to the play, when they like, when they like, um, wa watch me when when they like watched me get spanked by the neighborhood and scolded by the dad. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I think they're gonna look back at that it was the times when they got and they um <laughs> got and scolded and they'll just laugh. <laughs> okay yeah that, that, that's yeah. a good that's a good insight that's very good insight yeah okay so uh apostle and um Dosh well you know what? i think there's going to be a wide variety of emotions i think i think they're going to really i mean you know i think Dosha said it right when she talked about the fact that you know she's we all have are in the presence of really a great writer you you've written a wonderful play that is encapsulated right. encapsulated really a wide variety of emotions i mean there's going to be anger that's there you know when you yep. see certain things disappointment that's there we, at, in certain characters' lives. There's definitely going to be laughter, no, yes. no doubt about it. And you know, those just part. I mean, she has that same range where you'll be with her, you know, and then you, you know, be angry with her. And you know, as she's angry, you'll be angry with her, sad, and but also at the same time excited with her. So, I mean, the way you've written it and the care and the people that you've chosen to be a part of this play, I think that everybody's going to need tears as well as some, you know, yes. some some ribbons to be able to throw because it's going to be celebration, triumph, and tragedy. All together, right? Go ahead, those Bring it. Yeah, um, well, definitely. Um, Apostle hit it all. I mean, he went to the roller coaster. I'm just coming <laughs> down the hill now, and um, and 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 that is is just it's just those kind of emotions because somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, it may not be you, but you know somebody of one of those six characters. You know something about um Roger. You know something about um um Clay. So, you know, we just know that it's going to be that kind of thing like that. But at the end of the day, there is definitely, you know, a lesson in every last one of um, the characters that you put together, Mr. Omar. Mm -hmm. And once again, we did this play in August. I believe it was August 27th at the Women's in Drama League. So, uh, like, Apostle, you, you weren't part of the original cast when we did that, but Clave and Doshi was so I want to ask you both. Uh, start off with Clave. Um, 
what type of reaction did you receive from your, uh, I guess it was your family. They were sitting in the front row, your mom and your siblings. Um, what type of reaction did you get from um, your mom and, and, your, and, your, and your siblings and anybody else who talked to you about the play? Uh, what did they say to you after the play? They said I did a really great job and I was brave for doing that. <laughs> okay. Now, Doshi, oh my goodness. <laughs> awesome. I heard. She, she, she had a clan there, but they, I mean, from the top of the beginning of the play, I mean, the minute she got up and walked in front of that stage, boy, she got a, ooh, I mean, they were, they, they were always, I'll tell you what, possibly, she, she brought the house down. Um, even after the intermission, we, we even say our lines that they, they were cheering, they were, dope, dope, wow. dope, dope. I mean, what is this? I mean, I've never seen that. All the plays that I've written, I, I've never seen that. So, and of course, um, Though she was, you know, set to work races, um, she got roses at the end when we did the roll call, but that's just shows you how beautiful support is. And that, 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 that was a beautiful thing that was, you know, and that, that, that was very ins inspiring um, to see one of your cast members or, or, or other cast members where, where their family, their friends, and the audience could come yes. out and, say, and show them how great that was. I mean, that, that, right. that was that was a beautiful thing. So, so let me ask you from uh, Doshi, the star. Um, oh, no, how, how no way. It... No, <laughs> no, sir. How, 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 how did it feel and, uh, you know, get so much love, love and respect? Um, I, I just, I felt like I, I felt like that character that you, that you wrote um, was seen. And I, and I felt like if that character was seen, then I did my jail. I did what that writer wanted wanted to happen, and you know because that character does have some some things that's going on, you know, with her um, uh, and her and 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 her beliefs um, that uh, it was. Um, I felt like it was all all of whatever they yayed me for. It was because of the writer that wrote that part. And all I wanted to do was make sure that writer's part was um, done and done in the excellency of which it had been written. Okay, so, so Apostle, uh, this Saturday, uh, you're know, you going to have your church community out, you're going you to have your fans out. You're going to have some the people there. Listen, I don't know if I can get anywhere close to those because oh, I, I, I don't stop. have that talent. But yeah, we're going to have some, we're going to definitely have some people there and the people that are to support. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We're all looking forward to it. All right, right. Uh, Clave, you have so much talent. You're, you're doing acting, you're doing music. Um, when you grow up, uh, have you thought about what you want to do when you grow up? Do you think you want to continue to be an actor? Do you want to be a singer, a musician? Uh, what thoughts do you, what do you think you want to do? Are you want to go to college? You want to take up a trade? What, what do you want to do when you become an adult? Have you thought about that right now? I mean, you're still young, but have you thought about that? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to be a keyboardist, an actor, um, and a vocalist. Mm -hmm. Like I'm already that right now, but right, right. Um, as so, yeah. go on, I'll get more. It will get more advanced when I get older. Wow, that's awesome. Animation. Oh, animation. So how? That is my dream. Oh, one of them. Hmm. So, Clave, how do we get a chance to see the band? I mean, do or are there um, are there bookings here in the in the Delaware area or Jersey area or how do we get a chance to see this wonderful band? Because I, we just got we just got we just have you and your daughter, so we just can't imagine, right? You know, with um, Daddy and Mommy gonna bring on, and then all y'all together. So, how do how do can you maybe perhaps get that to Mr. Omar? Because I would love for us to go somewhere Absolutely. as a as a cast to be mm -hmm. able to support. I mean, you know, locally, y'all in the local area, and I, and I myself personally, I say local areas, Pennsylvania, Maryland, DC, because there ain't places to get to now. If you up in, you know, Connecticut, we might not be able to get there. But in the local, I would definitely love for us to walk in, have our table, and be able to go support. You know, the fan. Maybe you know, can get that information. To Mr. Omar or mommy can or daddy. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Um for um for one, sometimes we'll be at the sometimes we'll be at like the what is it called? The monthly focus at the Bellevue Community Center. Sometimes me and my brothers will play on the stage there. 
Sometimes we'll just sit down and support our sister. But mostly, um, you can see, uh, um, see us at our HRAM, um, HRAM shows. Um, you, know, you can see, uh, um, see us at our HRAM shows. HRAM Music 6. Oh, and uh, speaking of your mommy, we don't want to forget, we don't give your mommy a plug because she did an excellent thing in regards to inviting me on her show. Your mommy also has a, has a radio show, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and you and your siblings, you were on there a couple of weeks ago, I heard y'all. <laughs> y'all were singing and everything, and that, that was good. Um, so your wow. mommy, <laughs> mommy um, 5.3 FM, it's in the city of Wilmington, Delaware, uh, comes on every Saturday from um, two to three, called the Renaissance. Uh, I'm not, I'm What's the name of your mommy's show? Do you remember? Because I, I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess it up. Do you, 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 you remember the name of your mommy's show? Her radio show. The woman. The woman. Ten. Renaissance radio show. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It come on. It come on from. Um, oh. It comes on every Saturday. Um, 95.3 FM, more the city of Wilmington, Delaware. Um, the station is owned by uh, historian Mr. Harmon Carey. As a matter of fact, your mommy adopted the program, or the, or the program was turned to, to your mommy by our former stage manager, Ms. Uh, Janice King. She, uh, she was doing that show for, for about a year or two, and then she turned it over to uh, Samantha, which was an excellent thing. So Samantha continues to, to bring local <coughs> uh, artist who has a very good good talent. Oh, go ahead, Colin. You got something else to say? Mm -hmm. The oh, yeah. radio comes on by 3 to 4 o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. 3 it's to 4. Saturday. Okay. PM. Yeah, that's my fault. That's why it's, it's, it's 3 to 4. It's every Saturday from 3 to 4 p.m. 95.3 <laughs> FM. So once again, that's 95.3 FM in the city of Wilmington, Delaware from 3 to 4. That's my fault. I'm going to mess the time up. <laughs> I'm glad you corrected me on that because I don't want people to, to miss your mommy. So, uh, Apostle, uh, so um, your church services, I mean, I often see you on Facebook uh, during the week, man. I mean, I, mean, see, uh, man, I, I think I can imagine that. I think you come on almost every day, right? On, on Facebook. Well, I'm, I'm, as a matter of fact, I've tra I'm transitioning everything over to live, to, to, to uh, mm -hmm. online services now. So, we're doing, uh, you know, we're still doing our outreach, but we're now transferring uh, all of our services now online. Oh, okay. So, so, um, how can people uh, watch you online? Like, what, 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 what is the uh, Facebook? Uh, uh, well, I'm on Facebook. There's Facebook and YouTube. We're there for every Wednesday at uh, seven o'clock. I mean, every Wednesday at five o'clock for our show called Live at Five. We have our our, our interactive Bible study every Thursday at seven thirty and a Sunday service at twelve o'clock. Uh, every Sunday at twelve o'clock. So we're there three times a week, uh, just putting out the word. Okay, so 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 you're you're not actually in a physical building anymore. No, we've left that. So we're gonna we're doing everything now on live. I'm really focusing really on reaching a an, another audience. I still minister out. I still you know will well it gives me opportunity to now do some ministerial evangelism. But most of my sp specific work for my church now is going to be done through our website as well as through uh, our, our online uh, venues. Okay, so if people wanted to, to give a donation uh, to your church, because you know sometimes when you when you're a physical church, when you when you're when you're there physically, right. the, the, the pot goes around. So you know people pay their tithes. So and then other people just give a donation for whatever uh, building fund or a service fund. So are, are you uh, accepting donations? Or? Sure, absolutely. They could always uh, there's always cash app. You can always cash app. It's probably the easiest way. You know we 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 do Zelle and PayPal as well, but cash app is probably the easiest way. Dollar sign Apost A P O S T B W. That's Apostle T B Walker. Apost uh, T B W. All right. So as we close out the program, I'm gonna have everybody just say some final words on why they want people to come see the play. Go ahead, Claude. You got your hands up. <laughs> You're on mute. Okay. There you go. I want to tell you something before you said that, but I forgot. I forgot the Instagram. Our Instagram page is HFAM six. I mean HFAM Music Six on Instagram. Oh, okay. okay, say it again. <laughs> and music six on Instagram. Okay, so do do you have a final uh, words to say for people to come out and see the play? Yes. <laughs> you will give it a five star review. All right. Okay, that is okay. All right. <laughs> 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 you go straight it's to so the point. Sick. 
He's just so serious. I love him. He's so serious. You know, he's just so serious. Yes. That's that. That sounds great. That sounds like you. But yes. Yes. Hey. Yes. Sounds good. That's good. Okay. Uh, Those what you got? Close this up. Well, listen. I'm just saying. Come down and be treated. Come down and see. Um, what we hear in Wilmington, Delaware, and what the playwright has written and that we have um, internalized and um, turned into um, different characters. So please join us this coming um, Saturday. Listen, you will not leave out of there um, disappointed. Okay, Apostle. <laughs> well, you know what, listen, I want everybody to come out uh, Saturday at seven o'clock because I think that, you know, it is going to be a time of great, great healing. You know, what you have what you have written and put together is really medicine for our community and medicine for this time. You know, so I, I, I want people to really come out and they'll be able to really be able to see that of what we really can be as a community. And I think that's the beauty of what you've written. Once again, the play is this Saturday, January the 7th, 2023, 7 p.m. at the Wilmington Music School, 4101 uh, Washington Street, Wilmington, Delaware, 19802. You can get tickets uh, at the doors, $30 general admission. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your co-workers, bring your colleagues, bring them all. <laughs> all right, um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming on this evening. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow at rehearsals and have a safe evening. Uh, Happy New Year. To, to the KU and Happy New Year to everybody that's watching. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> we to see you guys tomorrow. All right. Please like, subscribe, and share. All right. Bye bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.